Mindy writes, what does it mean when a man doesn't want to label your relationship and informs you that you're you're the only woman he is talking with you? He doesn't want to label it. You know what? I've heard this thing before. I can't stand this whole thing about men who say, I don't want to label the relationship. Look it. My telephone has a label. It's a Samsung. My book has a label called what the heck? It's called a book. It's a label. You know, we have to identify. It's it's healthy to identify the dynamic with a label. So are we dating? Are, is it strictly dating? Are we in a relationship? Are we monogamous? Are we exclusive? Are we committed? Those are words, but they're also labels to help identify what it is we're doing in this relationship. So when a man says, I don't want to put a label, that's because he doesn't want to. Now, he might say, I'm going to be monogamous and exclusive with you. But what he's also trying to do is, look, I don't necessarily want to commit all of myself to you, believing that this is going to go somewhere. I'm repeat that. I don't want to commit all of myself to you, having you believe this is going to go somewhere. In other words, this, this dynamic has a destination. So they avoid talking about the really important stuff. And folks, I'm here to say, if your vagina is receiving a penis, okay, you have every right to ask deeper questions to determine if you're on the same page. I'm going to repeat that. If the penis gets, gets allowed to go inside the vagina, you have every right to ask questions to determine if you're on the same page. If you're like me, I'm seeking a fully committed relationship where we spend three or four days and nights a week together, doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, traveling together, teamwork building skills, both in our personal and our professional life and intimacy, both physical and emotional intimacy that leads to either getting married or living together. That's the standard of what I'm looking for. Now, everybody is different. Some of you are happy with friends with benefits. Some are you happy with casual relationships. Some of you happy with situationships. Some of you are only capable of giving very little because you're raising children. You've got a busy life. So you may not be able to fit in the, for example, what I'm looking for. And that's okay. If two people are on, on, on different pages, like if someone only wants to see me once every other week and I said three or four days and nights a week together, we're a mismatch. That's not what I'm looking for. So I invite you to decide what you're looking for in a relationship and then ask the tougher questions to determine if you're on the same page. And the best time to do that is before the penis goes inside the vagina. Folks, I can't tell you how many women email me continually three months, six months into a relationship going, I don't know if we're in a committed relationship. Men are going to try to avoid that question. Let me reframe that. Men who are emotionally unhealthy, Men who don't know what they want will try to avoid that question. So why do you let his dick go inside of you if he's avoiding some level of commitment with you? I'm here to scream at the top of my lungs. And I know some people get angry that I scream, but it's like, you're about to touch fire. Stop, stop, stop. That's why I'm yelling. I want to encourage you to talk right up front as early as you can to decide if you're on the same page and you're traveling down a two-lane street. Does that make sense? Tell me if that makes sense by giving me a thumbs up or saying amen. Um, so I want to thank um, Mindy for that question. Great, great question. Thank you so much.